Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be looking at the Firefox Focus browser. Uh, it's part of my browser series for the iPad Pro. Um, if you're interested in iPad Pro content, in the iPad Pro videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me. I'll be making loads of iPad Pro videos, um, not just about browsers, of course, stuff about creativity and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're interested in anything to do with that, hit the subscribe button. And with that, let's get on with the video. So today I just wanted to kind of just look at this browser really and just kind of see how it works. I've been looking at loads of different browsers and I want to see how this compares. So if you see my Firefox browser video, you'll see that I'm not super impressed with that video. I'm sorry, impressed with that browser, but you know, I, tr I, I did give it a go. So let's see how the Firefox Focus browser handles. So, so far, it seems to work okay. If we go to YouTube, what happens here? I think it's gonna agree and take me to the YouTube. Oh no, I thought it was gonna take me to the YouTube app. It's giving me the full version of YouTube. Which is really good and this is the desktop version not the mobile version so that's really good so if we just click anything really um let's see how this works everything is working ah it doesn't support full screen just like the other firefox browser that kind of sucks but you know it's still full version of YouTube, desktop version of YouTube, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so that's really all I need to test. Anything here, it's all good. So delete means, okay, just delete everything. Automatic private browsing. So that's that's the main premise of this. You just, it doesn't store any of your browsing history. So videos work well. We try Vimeo. So I, I suspect this will work very similar to the Fire, Firefox generally. And you know, that wasn't my favorite of all my browsers, but it was decent. Uh, but yeah, this is super pared down. So I'm not honestly sure why this needs to be its own app because Firefox does have a private mode in itself. But we'll just check out and make sure the videos work and videos do work. You can pinch to go full screen. And yeah, we can just zoom out like that. So tracking protection, that's that's the main, main thing here. And settings wise, it just gives you some searching and stuff. You can use face ID, okay, that's pretty cool. Your grandmother um, was born inside of your great grandmother. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think it's a bit strange for a privacy, privacy thing, but okay, it works. Um, yeah, to be honest, there's not much to say about this app. You, it's, it's a little bit annoying to use, I would say, because there is no tabs. So if you, you can only do one window at a time. So that's not great as an experience. Um, it's not great at all. Okay. You know, I, there's not really too much to say here. I will not recommend anybody using this, use this um, version of the app, to be honest, because I'm not sure why you would if you consider that Firefox has private browsing as well. So to just download the whole app just for that doesn't make sense to me. But generally speaking, I wouldn't even recommend Firefox altogether, to be honest. Um, I think this is not the top tier browser for iPad Pro. I think top tier is Safari. And then, I think top tier is Safari, then Chrome, if you don't care too much about privacy. Um, Brave is pretty good. DuckDuckGo is really good, surprisingly really good. Um, and then it's kind of the rest. After those three, there's the rest, so it's like Edge. Uh, Firefox, this browser, you know, 
these are the ones that I don't quite rate. But, you know, if you wanted to, for some reason, do it, it's, it's there's an option for you. And, you know, you can just hit delete and you're out of there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This was a super quick video just to show you the Firefox Focus browser. If you are interested in more iPad content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes a moment for you, but it means the world to me. And I will catch you in the next one.